So this is a quick video just showing you guys some install tips if you're replacing the stock ABL sensor on the Solval SV06 with our Easy ABL. You can see here I have our OEM mount with our Easy ABL Pro T sensor on here. Um, this printer will work with any of our 18 millimeter sensors. To get this on here, you actually unscrew this screw and it will drop the stock probe out of the bottom of it and then this just unplugs from the control board. There's then two M3 screws here that hold this bracket to the side of the motor here, and those screws are reused to attach the Easy ABL where the stock sensor was. Now, when I do the final install on this, I'm going to take this cable for the sensor and route it along with the ribbon cable here and just put some zip ties uh, a couple inches apart all the way back to here. Um, I did kind of the same thing on my Ender 3 S1 as it has the same kind of ribbon cable you can see here. Just a couple of zip ties to keep it with the ribbon. Now this printer, because it does have this sensor here, we are not going to be able to reuse this wire. So we are going to need an extra wire to connect the Easy ABL up to this printer. And you can see here, I am just doing testing here so nothing's mounted. But we have the Easy ABL signal cable that we sell. This is the two to three pin cable connected to the control board here on the Easy ABL. And then this goes into the printer electronics enclosure here. You can get into this by just unscrewing the screw here. And it opens up. The signal cable will connect to the Z-stop plug, which is right next to the thermistor connection here. And then for power, we're going to come off of these first two outputs here because these are always on. So you see the red one and the black one, they're labeled fan. These are always on. So we're going to get our power for the Easy ABL from here. Now for mounting the Easy ABL control box, I'm probably just going to stick it back here and have the little wing go into the plastic cover here and then just throw some double sided tape to keep this from moving around. The power wires are going to enter right here onto the screw terminal. If you're using the external power adapter, you would go into this, but I always use the direct wire. And then the sensor itself will plug into the control board right here. We'll have this wire routed out the bottom here with the power wire and the bed wire. And then the Easy ABL wire is going to follow this down with some zip ties holding it. And I'm just gonna have the wire run down here to the control box and whatever's extra, I'm just gonna loop up. You might also be able to put the extra wire inside here as long as you don't hit the fan. There is some extra space down here so you could come up with the sensor wire and then come back out. Um, that's also what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna hide the extra wire inside here. So. I've posted little videos like this in the past. People said they're helpful. Um, we do not have this out yet, but this will be out in about a week once we finalize everything. So the firmware's all working on here, the sensor's working. Um, I didn't think we'd be doing Easy ABL on this printer because it does come with a sensor. Um, this is the stock one, but many users have reported to us that this one is not giving them good results or it's just not working at all. So we're gonna put the Easy ABL on here. And the next video, that we'll be doing once I get the firmware done is we're going to be installing the easy board in here to get rid of the stock board and I'm also still looking to see if we can add a filament sensor on the stock board. I do not see any extra three pin headers like we see on some of the Creality boards. There's usually one right down here um, and this is labeled DET. I don't know where this goes to so we might be able to actually just unplug this and plug our sensor kit into there. I suspect that this goes up to the hot end here um, if they had a filament sensor on there because there are some extra plugs on the side of this, but we're not going to use those. So anyways, hope this helps you put an easy ABL on your SVO6.